So get What's up, everybody? Just get this music pretty good. I think that's good. You guys should be able to hear me, hear the music. Uh, if it's too loud, just let me know. I'll turn it down. So, what's up, Dennis? What's up, Tony? <clears throat> How's it going, guys? So, we have another RC body here today. And this guy's been waiting patiently. I must commend him for waiting so long. Thank you for waiting patiently, Mr. Sir. Um, and yeah. Finally get to make it to these bodies. Dennis going ham with the emotes. Did you see that new emote? Look at that skull squad. Boy, what's up? What's up, boy, with that red lettering? That looks good. I like that. I wasn't sure what to make the next one. <laughs> What's up, David Raymond? Yeah, that one's sick. You know you like that one. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. My hands are sweaty. Too sweaty for this. It's hot today. I need to dedicate some time tomorrow to hooking up the air conditioner. Because, yeah, times is getting hot. It was real hot today. Um, I was out in the garage all day working on that tank and trying to get that finished. I uh, also had to, uh, went through this, uh, <laughs> what's up, easy airbrush with those cheap skulls, those cheap skulls, son. Uh, I also had to uh, figure out, we, uh, the Segola, right? I, I use a Segola 4600 to spray like my clears and stuff. And uh, the cup on it was, I'm not gonna lie, it was starting to look pretty dirty. So I was like, yo, you know, I go down to the paint store and get some wet sand tape. And uh, I was just popping in to see if they had that pearl, you know, already in, because I, ha I had been ordered that. And, uh, I go in there and uh, <laughs> I can show you guys these cups, right? So they sell me on these cups, right? On this system of these disposable cups for the, for the, for the paint gun, right? And it works really good and it's awesome. I love this system. Um, the only problem was uh, getting the yeah that tank came out sick thank you justice <laughs> right on McMunch have a good night sorry sir we're, we're in the US so <laughs> our, our times clash I'm very sorry about that what's up alone <laughs> it's 1 a.m. there my bad guys my bad if you're watching somewhere else uh, so anyway I get to the you know, I buy the thing, and then he goes, what kind of gun do you have, right? So I tell him it's a Segola 4600, and he goes, Segola? You know, like, he's like, I never heard of that. Like, So I'm like, oh, you know, I explained to them how I received them from the company from Spain in order to review for the channel, this and that. And they're like, oh, wow, that, cool, okay, cool. Um, you know, so they're trying to figure out which one it is. So we find one on the sheet for those adapters for the cups that says Segola Classic on it. So we're like, well, that's the only one that says Segola. We might as well get that. So I come home, try to put it on my gun, don't fit. Then the rest of the morning was trying to figure out how to get those to work on the gun. We had to like take a piece off of the gun that I'm pretty sure 
It's not meant for coming off regularly or at all. Uh, but I managed to get it off using a vise and some <laughs> some plumber's pliers and, and really just like getting it off because it has an Allen wrench slot, but it was in there with like fucking thread lock or some shit. And it wouldn't come off. I finally got it off and got those things to work and was able to spray the pearl and everything. <laughs> What's up, angel boy? I don't even feel right calling you angel boy. <laughs> Why do they call you Angel Boy? Why do you call yourself Angel Boy? I don't know, that's a better question. Did Badger ever contact me regarding this? No, they never ever contacted me. This guy expects them to contact me. <laughs> That's funny. I don't think they have a reason to reach out to me at all. Uh, apparently they're so backed up with orders that you know they're always having a hard time shipping them out. Angel, but he's young. <laughs> Should make a thing. This is just practice, huh? That's not a bad idea. Halan Badger. <laughs> what kind of tape is that? This is a uh, sure tape, masking tape. Made in the USA. True to your work, it says. Your Badger Velocity didn't come with the generic box? You came in a cardboard box with foam. Really? Jeez. This tape looks pretty transparent. I don't know, that's... Look at my finger, you see my finger? The body's transparent, then look at my finger. If I put it up against it, maybe. But like if it... I don't know, that, that's not very transparent to me. That's interesting, dude, that yours didn't even come in the same box. I don't know what's going on there, bro. I remember, in one of the comments, I even mentioned it. Um, I remember back in the day, uh, if you guys remember the story of how I started airbrushing, and my brother left the Badger airbrush behind. And I remember it being in those big, Triangle boxes. Whatever happened to those nice triangle boxes? And they were like zip tied in there or something. It was like nice. Do you guys remember those or is that just me?
You didn't know it was an affordable art media until now? What is an affordable art media? Airbrushing? I think that's debatable. <laughs> I think that's highly debatable. buy the equipment yeah. yeah it still takes quite a bit to start airbrushing you have to buy a compressor the airbrush paint and, and you know then you have to buy something to paint on whereas if you're gonna paint with regular brushes you just buy a pack of regular brushes some paint and something to paint on and you're off to the races you don't have to worry about buying a compressor or like a special tool like the airbrush you know Obviously, there are brushes out there that are special. I'm not gonna say there isn't. I'm just saying, when it comes to a beginner, you know, it's a lot cheaper to start with a paintbrush than it is with an airbrush. It's as, if not more, affordable than tattooing. Yeah, I would probably say so. Anybody who does tattoos and airbrushings, though, most of them would probably say that tattooing is more profitable. So, there is that, too. I don't know. In my experience, it is, it is a lot easier to find tattoo people. What's hard to find is people that want art. And not just like, I want an angel on my arm, you know, because my name is Angel. Or because my grandma died, and I want a Virgin Mary, you know, with the, her name on it. And it's like, that's cool and all, and I like, I appreciate it. But like, you can't just be like, I'm gonna do this. Like, very few artists actually get to like, you know, be artistic when it comes to a tattoo. Once you actually start tattooing and you want to make money, you start realizing that <laughs> a lot of the tattoos are like, yeah, I want to, you know, it's his name, a date, I want a cross, I want a dragon, what else can I mean? I want this symbol, I want, uh, you know, like my zodiac symbol or this Chinese symbol. Or this cool design I seen, or you know, <laughs> it's usually something like that. What tattoo machines do I have? I have some rotaries. Um, they've been they're pretty old now. They're like dragon rotaries or something? I don't remember. I'm not I'm not really looking to do tattoos to be quite honest with you. Like, I, I'm not going to say I don't like tattoos, because I do like tattoos, but, uh, man, it is, it's a little bit, it's a little bit dull doing tattoos all the time, it's not a lie, like, the, the request that I get, I guess, is what makes it boring. A Soba workhorse and a Mickey Sharps. Yeah. Are, are those loud? I'm pretty sure those are the old school, like, loud type, right? Because I can't stand that shit. That's why I went with rotaries. I learned on those old school machines, but then I quickly, <laughs> very, very quickly, I was like, that's annoying. And the tattoo becomes a lot less frightening and stressful for the client when it's just, you know, wee, wee, instead of being, wee, wee, you know. <laughs> What's up, Air Todd? How's it going? Air Todd in the house?
Yeah, the, the people too. It's like that's the other thing. It's like this body, right? I could grab it, mangle it, do whatever I want to it. And there's no, it never talks back to me. You know what I'm saying? With people, it's different. Like, to be quite honest with you, I'd rather tattoo on women than on men. Because women will just literally just sit there and just... You could ask them, does it hurt? Eh, it's alright. <laughs> you got a really light hand. That kind of stuff. A guy will it literally feel like I'm cutting off his nuts or some shit. You know, with how bad they're yelling. And yeah, no matter how amount of lightness of, you know, trying to be nice about it changes anything. <laughs> so, I don't know. It's kind of how I feel about tattoos right now. It's like I'm not really, I'm not really in the market for tattoos. A lot of people keep asking and I'm just not really that, that, that interested right now that I'm just, I'm, I'm busy enough that I don't I don't need a I don't need it or wanna do some tattoos. song is that's playing is like getting me hype what's up James look at James James found that new emote right away dude look at it that a new emoji son so we unlocked the new emoji because we hit uh, 15 members so I must say this straight up we have lots of lurking members members that are around but like, don't ever come make themselves known. Uh, who is the one that showed up the other day? Leon? And we have a few others that, that only show up, you know, every now and then. What's up, Thomas? We're getting them done, man. We're getting them done, finally, huh? Thank you for being so patient, sir. We'll get this one done today. Get the other one done tomorrow. And then they'll all be ready to go home. <laughs> Herbert G money bro I like how you had to you had to throw something in there that was still like thuggish ruggish you couldn't just let it go bro you couldn't just let it go let the dream go let it go let it go
Hey, you didn't have to change your name for me, bro. Don't don't make don't don't listen to me, bro. I'm being stupid. Don't don't, don't listen to me. <laughs> what do I think about TikTok? I don't know. I've never made a TikTok, bro. I'm not 15 years old. <laughs> Route out the G money. I don't know that. <laughs> From what I understand of TikTok, it's made for teenagers. And yeah, I just never had an interest. Um, when I do get a teenage customer, when that happens, it's usually because I'm set up somewhere and they see me and to them it's like an impulse buy they want it because they seen it right? you could show a, a teenager this all you want time lapses all this stuff they might like it very few of them will actually go out and place an order you know what I'm saying they don't have the money for it they have to like you know they either a have to live around your area or two have somebody that has a credit card that's gonna be like, yeah, let's order you a $40 shirt real quick, or you know, a $100 pair of shoes. You know, it just it doesn't happen. Usually when I paint something for teenagers, like I said, it's either because they, they rolled up, they seen it, and they want it, or their parents are having it made for their birthday. Oh, he would just love his shoes if they were Mortal Kombat shoes. Oh, he would just love his shoes if they were this. Oh, I know he would love a shirt if it was, you know, a Gears of War shirt or whatever. And that's usually how it goes when you paint for them. I don't know. I remember being a teenager and I cared about where I wore and I cared about stuff. Like, I like, you know, cartoons and stuff, but usually when I had money or something, it wasn't going towards that, you know what I'm saying? So... I gotta keep it real. I gotta keep it where my audience is really gonna be um, beneficial to me. And that is with people that either wanna learn or that are looking to actually have something made. So. Bro, I already, I already, like, I'm already busy all day long, 24 7. I don't have time to, like, stop and like let's make another extra video on top of the video I just made for Instagram on top of the video you know that I'm gonna go stream later you know like nah this is like bro I'm tired <laughs> I'm tired right now my guy I'm sitting down and I'm tired <laughs> like we're saving so hard I'm saving hard and hopefully around Christmas time we can start another giveaway but this time I'm like I'm just gonna put the giveaway up then I'm gonna bit disappear for 30 days I'm literally gonna say it in the video we're gonna go on vacation and when I get back my whole goal is to mail that package off you know what I'm saying and I'll figure it out you know when I get back so right now it's just save game I don't have time for anything anyway, and everything else is closed, so I gotta save it. And right now, like, I need a... I literally need a truck. Um, the car is cool and all, and it works really good. It gets you from point A to point B, but I can't load anything in the car. It makes it really hard. Um, you know, even just loading the ladder is hard in the car. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah you know that that's another goal too so just just trying to save keep working keep working hard working hard and then hopefully it all pays off and by the end of the year maybe next year we don't have to work so hard right right maybe next year we could hire somebody to sand and mask or maybe some one of y'all you know we'll win an apprenticeship or some shit and I could just have you guys sand and mask all day. <laughs> oh my gosh. I 
totally missed that back window. What you got going, bro? Mike likes Frozen. Why do you keep saying I like Frozen, bro? <laughs> No, you see, the reason we would take a vacation here in December is because here it's literally frozen. So I, I would want to go somewhere where the weather is nice. Hopefully somewhere where nobody talks English. So nobody knows who I am. Or will even care, you know what I'm saying? I just, I just want to be isolated in a way and just be on the beach. Having some drinks, you know, chilling, like just not worrying about it. Oh, am I going to paint? Oh, what is the, you know, views for today? How many subs? None of that shit. I'm just going to be chilling on the beach. Just like, ah, finally, like after all that work, you know, we're going to take a break. And I said, we're going to go hard for a year. Remember, we're still going hard. I'm not slowing down. We're going to go every day. I still have canvases. If I run out of work, we going back to the canvases, but I don't see myself running out of work anytime soon. So, <laughs> oh my God, bro, we made a big deal about the canvases and then they're not even going to get used. <laughs> no, I can't go to Chicago in the winter. No, 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 no. That, that defeats the whole purpose, sir. <laughs> Get away from the cold, not go to the cold. Everybody knows who you are, you have fans. No, 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 it's not like that. Nobody knows who I am, right? Like. But in the off chance, I just, I don't want to be anybody to ask any questions or anything. And like, I'm just saying, by the end of the year, you never know. Right now, the growth is getting a little bit stupid. So, yeah. The growth, the amount of people joining the channel and, you know, subscribing and doing all the good jazz is really, it's really growing, so. Go to Africa. No, no, no. I'm, I was thinking like, like Portugal or like, you know, deep in Mexico or go to Colombia or Brazil or some shit. No, not Brazil because a lot of people be coming in here saying hi from Brazil, huh? <laughs> I just, I, you know, go somewhere nice where they have a beach where I could just chill, watch the waves, watch the birds, you know, maybe buy a pet monkey. I still want a pet monkey really bad, like a real pet monkey. Like India would be a cool place too. If I could find a place in India where we could just chill out for a month, that would be so dope. And bring some drugs back. Yeah, no, that would have worked. <laughs> that ain't gonna happen. I just know, you know, Colombia. They they talk a little bit of Spanish. I could probably get by in Colombia. And I don't know. That that's that's kind of an off the wall suggestion, but that's just what I'm saying. You know? Vacation sounds good too. To you're away, then you just get homesick. I just know we're going hard all the way till 
December. We're gonna go all hard till Thanksgiving. And after Thanksgiving, then we're gonna really assess the situation. You know, that's when I plan to do the next giveaway. And then, you know, yeah, really see what's popping around there and see what we can do. Even if it's just a week, man, I just want to get away. Just gone. Leave my phone here and just be gone. Just everything gone. <laughs> I want Egypt. I've always wanted to see the pyramids. That would be cool. I always wanted to see the Mayan pyramids. I want to go to Mexico. So I think that would be super sick. the price you pay for your show. This is not a show. Do not, I am not a show. I'm not some kind of freak on display for you. This is not what's happening. <laughs> some kind of paint freak. Has godly hands. Just keeps going every day. Producing some of the best artwork available in the country. No bullshit added, no time added, no cost added. You just tell me what you want. You come in, you drop off your items. Come back a few days later. Your shit's done. Maybe I'll make a post about it. Maybe not. Because not everything is special. You know. And then you come, you pick up your stuff. You leave happy, you get out of here. Alright? That's all that happens here. Patience, patience. <laughs> patience like at the hospital? <laughs> What's up, Tattoo Tats? What? Amsterdam? Amsterdam? <laughs> I don't know if I could do Amsterdam, my guy. I don't know. To be quite honest with you, I just, I just rather not have that kind of temptation. <laughs> that, that's, that's too much. That's too much for me. <laughs> when am I gonna start spraying? So, probably sometime. After I finish masking, you know. <laughs> You're waiting for your package from the slow boat from China? You haven't got it yet? Are you sure? Uh, this is James Tom. Did James, did you get yours? You don't know if you come back. Yeah, I don't, it's not that I don't know if I'd come back. It's just, I don't know if I'd come back being the same person. I would just be angry, bro. I just, why don't they allow that shit here? Well, I, like, people there handle it. I, I handle it. Look at me, I'm just fine. And then just, 
all the time. I'd just be mad that we don't have those kind of freedoms. <laughs> right? Like, what the fuck? I could never go back to thinking the same. I don't know. A mixture of space cake and red light district. Yeah, something like that. It just, it has everything, right? Like everything's available there. So it's kind of the thing where. Sorry, there's just so many freaking little cuts. So many little, little cuts, man. <laughs> you done masking yet? Nah, bro, I'm not done masking yet. Like with any good paint job, it's 90% prep, 10% spray. You don't prep, you don't spray. If you spray without prep and you're gonna end up with shit. Single color bullshit. Could have just sprayed all this black and just called it the day, you know what I'm saying? The owner probably would have hated me. He says he'd have been like, I told you to go wild, not black. You know? <laughs> what ink do you recommend for a vehicle project? Bro, look at Justice, look at Dennis, man. Look at on your screen right now, bro. What is going on? What's up, Stephen Ward? How's it going? The man down under? How you doing? Why am I wearing gloves to mask? So, because, I don't know if you can tell, this is a very smooth, slick surface. I've already pre-cleaned it and degreased it. And having any kind of oils on the surface uh, when we spray paint will cause the paint to split and not adhere properly. So we cover our fingers and my sweaty little grubby hands so that we don't get 
our little oils all over and fingerprints all over. Sound good? Sounds good to me. Ink. Homeboy knows what I mean. No, I don't know what you mean. Bro. Yeah. <laughs> look at on the camera. Look at look at this nice logo right here. Look at this nice fucking logo right right there. Look at the look at what it says. Look at what it says in there. Everybody put it in the chat right now. Let me skull squad, let me get that create text emoji in the chat. It's real around here. The creatics around here be real. Cool. So we got all that in there. And uh, he told me go wild. So here's what I'm going to do. Right, we're going to put that over there. And I have grabber orange. So I'm just shaking it up real good. We got Grabber Orange Candy, Lemon Yellow Candy. We got some Sunset Magenta Candy. You actually do start to finish some, don't Yeah. <laughs> this, this, this is why I get paid the big bucks. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> And we got some poison green. Uh, just gonna shake these up real quick, make sure they're nice and shaking. So far, uh, Createx has claimed that these uh, don't have a pot life. Has really proven to be true. Um, and these just mix up really good and they stay nice and liquidy. I haven't seen any of them really kind of stiffen up or anything like that while they're already mixed with the clear, so. And then we got some pearl silver. Ah, it's not, it's not the W one. It's the silver this time. We're gonna use, <laughs> we're gonna use silver, some pearl silver. And as always, we got our forty fifty and our forty eleven reducer, and we're gonna use some uh, wicked opaque white as a backer. Um, but to start, I'm going to do some designs kind of around uh, the reason I taped this off uh, the hood here is because he wants that to stay clear um, he wa he wants that to stay clear because he has like a what, what was it? a 3d printed motor I think he's a, a 3d printed motor that he's gonna be laying on the inside right so you'll be able to see that motor through there um, somehow so he wanted that to stay clear uh, if we could so we're gonna keep that nice and clear for him um, and then everything else, he said, just go wild. So that's what we're doing. We're gonna go, we're gonna go wild, right? So one thing I'm gonna do, so I quite like this spider stone so. Also gonna throw some of these gears in there. here we have the spider web stencil and we got some of these gears right uh, we're gonna 
gonna go ahead and lay some of these in there. And we're probably gonna move just area to area real quick. Real quick, like. So we're gonna probably tape these down in this front area first. Right, tape some of these up in there. You gonna spray yet? Not yet, bro, not yet. We're still masking. <laughs> I promise, I promise it'll be worth it. Like you think, you think you're impatient. Imagine the owner, Thomas, right now is probably watching and he's probably like, what the fuck? Stop asking him if he's going to spray it. Let him fucking prepare and make it sick for me. He's probably like, these people in the chat are just hurrying him up. And he should be taking all his time. Harley tank you did yesterday was awesome. That was not yesterday. That was this morning. <laughs> this guy said yesterday. That was this morning. Oh no! Wait, yeah, yeah. I did airbrush it. I guess most of it yesterday. But I did the pearl on it and stuff today. I don't know if you if you follow me on Facebook or Instagram. You've seen the pearl drop today. The little video that I did. Went through a little mission this morning, getting my gun set up on a disposable cup system, which is really cool, but also was a pain because my gun is apparently not standardized. <laughs> I don't know, man. That's so weird. Look, I, I do like the Segola guns, but to be honest with you, the reason I stopped using them is because one of them had a problem right like the the nozzle broke and then i got online and i started trying to find parts then i realized that there's not like a u.s distributor for segola for anything not parts not guns not anything so uh yeah <laughs> um so yeah, I, I like I, I just kind of I took that as it was, and then I just stopped using them so much, because knowing that I couldn't rely on them, and, and if I got too used to and too comfortable with them, when they broke or when you know something would go wrong with them, as you know sometimes it, it happens, accidents happen and shit or whatever, um, that I wouldn't be able to use it. So I decided to uh, you know stop relying on those Cibola guns. Though their spray gun has proven to be quite reliable, and that's why I use that one. All right, so we got those laid in. I'm just gonna lay in that like that, and we're gonna spray some some candy coats. We're gonna leave the gears in there, and no, we're gonna spray the candy over the spider web. Take that off, and then we're gonna move it around. Spray some over here, and then we're gonna take the gears off, at, or spray candy around the gears a little bit, and then we're gonna take them off and move them over here and kind of move section by section so yeah so i'm gonna start off with grabber orange grabber orange do you have time to pee you don't want to miss anything i don't know man i'm about to start spraying are you sure are you sure this is when you want to go i'm gonna start spraying now <laughs> yeah just see this is now this is now the feedback that's happening right i'm going so hard so ham being so busy doing all these jobs and all these videos and stuff and now the feedback that i'm getting is you need to slow down you're doing too many videos my feed is going crazy 
oh, that thing you did yesterday, but it wasn't yesterday. It was a while ago. You know, like it's, it seems like now. <laughs> it's too much, you know. All right, so I'm just making sure to load up enough to do the. I forgot I have to do the whole thing here. So loading up some grabber orange. That that tank does look awesome. Yeah, I'm pretty proud of it myself. I was like, oh, that's nice. Out of there, and we're just gonna hit it over the spider webs nice and thick spray. dry for a sec and we're gonna put it over here I'm gonna turn up the pressure a little bit because we're spraying candy <laughs> do you have a compressor for each airbrush oh my god do, do I need to tell you how I have my setup again bro you want to hear the setup again the setup is sick guaranteed nobody else has a setup like this guaranteed So we get those web effects in there. Then we hit around the gears, right? We're just gonna hit all the way around the gears. Uh, we're also gonna hit around this edge of this uh, tape line and the whole front here. So basically the main color will be orange. But not just any orange. Candy orange with a silver belt. You know how it is? <laughs> Just stop talking and spray already. Y'all are savages! If I did... A live stream where all I did was spray and not talk at all I'd have probably like two viewers that whole time we'd have Dennis just trying, he'd be in there trying to be like yo get some sign language going son reply yeah, reply you might get somebody else coming in every now and then are you live what kind of paint do you use <laughs> all right so we got all that in there
Dance, monkey, dance. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I don't know, Air Todd. What does it mean when you tattoo a spider web on your face? I want to know, bro. These are street secrets over here. <laughs> What's up, RC guy? <laughs> What's up? Another bug? Okay. Give me one sec. I have to go smash a bug. <laughs> What's you with the music? Well, I don't know what this song is about. I, I, I ain't even gonna lie. I don't know how that song made it in there, but... <sighs> Alright. So she's going through a phase with bugs. And so we gotta keep... Uh, she keeps seeing like little tiny bugs or like a fly. And she will just like freak the fuck out.
What's up, Heather? Oh, snap! Heather's part of the Skull Squad! What up? What's going on, Heather? How's it going? Don't come to Australia, mate. The bugs here will steal your wallet. Oh, shit. <laughs> Those are a hell of a bugs. I want to take it off. Give it to me. It's mine. Give it back. Give it to me, there you go. Skull Squad big time in here today. Oh yeah, dude, the, the little green names are starting to add up. I like it. You guys are the best. I love you guys. Look at that, real nice like. It look real good, it look real good. Mm-hmm, mm -hmm. it does look like a little country pie and a good apple morning, mm-hmm. <laughs> gets to go on vacation because of you guys yeah yeah okay that's how that works I like I like it Eric Todd takes it a hundred percent all the way he's like I'm gonna take credit for that vacation thank you very much <laughs> it's not like I'm the one over here putting in all the work learn how to be a fucking cameraman Designs. Can you guys see that? Alright, there we go. Alright. So we 
we've got all that orange in there. Now, what I'm gonna do, I think we're done with this, so we're done with those. Set that aside over there. Um, I'm gonna take and empty out the orange. poison green in here just a little bit a little bit I need to look nice not this year for vacation not right now anyway yeah not right now so I'm gonna hit all these little gear areas here and I'm kind of just gonna blend them in from one side to the other right so like this one here I'm just gonna hit it from this side from this side, go to that side. Make right, the major. Same thing over here. Maybe we're gonna hit this one going that way. And that poison green is a really light color, right? So if you can't see it on the camera. I'm sorry, but I promise it's there, and you'll be able to see it in a minute. So we hit it all up on the gears. Bam. Right. So you can see a little bit there. Can you guys see that? Uh, there you go. Like if I tilt it that way, you can kind of see that it's it's greener up there, right? So now that we also have that, we let it dry a little bit. We're gonna cut in a top pinstripe on our design here. And we're just gonna come in. We're gonna lay in a cut all the way across. Just all the way down. side cut that whole pinstripe out go <laughs> yeah oh yeah I don't feel like I'm on vacation after a couple of chiladas dude so now we're gonna leave that, uh, that same poison green right over that pinstripe make sure we give it a few coats cover that area real good the other side, same thing. You can see that little, that little pinstripe there. So this is the point where I'm gonna load up some silver. And we're gonna use the Pache Talon for this.
All right, we'll see you later, chats. What's up, Ron? It looks sick, huh? Does it, does it really? <laughs> And then adding a whole bunch of this pearl silver. You got the stencils finally? Nice, man. You're welcome. What's up, fish in the backwoods? How's it going? You still haven't got him, James? I thought you would have got him by now. I'm just shaking it up real good. Silver loaded in. I'm just gonna start laying it down. Give everything a good couple cups of this silver. Being quite generous to lay it in over everything. Should get everything nice and coated with this pearl silver. It's completely transparent almost, aside from the pearl obviously. So we're gonna have to give it a backer, which is why we have the white. I do wanna make sure you get it nice and covered everywhere. Here you go, 
guys can see it, you see? Now those areas are starting to look kind of like white, I guess, and they're not transparent anymore. You could see the light reflecting there. But you see it have that nice orange look. With that nice green right there. See that line? You can barely see it right now. But once we put the white back around it, it's gonna look pretty good. Let that sit and dry for a second, and we're going to use that same pearl silver as the main uh, color for the interior here. Oh. See that, see that side. Throw some of that green in there. That'll make it interesting. That'll make it interesting. Sure, why not? Why not? Let's make this here green, orange. That was really good. Wild. Much. I'm trying to clear stuff it's meant to be, man. that all covered in some green. <laughs> now we're gonna lay the silver in, I guess. That looks pretty cool, actually. That'd make it look even more wild than I thought. real good come back and focus on this guy all right so now that we have that in there we're gonna want to put some backer on it so I'm gonna go ahead and mix up a little bit of white with some 4050 use the wicked white <clears throat> are you done yet <laughs> <laughs> this guy's funny, you go. You guys are hilarious. Hilarious! Shaking it in that up. And this white's really gonna bring out the colors on the other side. So. white area with no white is there a difference there yeah there's clearly a difference look
Okay. could really see the designs come out pop out it's like pearly too you, get, you don't really get the pearly effect on camera it's hard to like show that on camera you can kind of see it on the orange as they move it around but we're not done so let's set that aside let's lay some white backer over what we've done here looks like pastel green on the thing but in person it's like really pearly green it's funny anyway I'm gonna flush out this white Yeah, we used some white. Looking badass so far. Right on. Right, we could actually set the airbrush aside for a sec. Come back on his body. And we are going to cut out our nice little design on here. So we want to add a pinstripe across the top, but we're going to make it come points bring it down like across the door then we're gonna make it like hook back keep the pinstripe all the way back See if my math is correct on this one. Side. look at that look at that nice cut oh my gosh same thing on the other side
we got that cut on that side. We got that cut on that side. Look at that. Ooh, that's pretty. That's pretty. So we're gonna do. Stand that up over there. We're gonna take some of the sunset magenta here. Give it a little shake and shake. to the revolution here. I don't need all that much, but we're gonna do it anyway. Then I'm just gonna lay that sunset magenta over that area. It's a pretty what? Mm -hmm, it's a pretty what? We like them whats around here. Around here, them whats is very welcome, especially when they're nice and pearly. Can't really tell what color it is from there. It just looks nice and dark. And then all I'm gonna do is take the silver. And I lied. I lied. I think I still want, especially in this little area right here, in that center area, I want some of these lines right there. And line up the spider web. So I'm gonna hit those, hit that like that. So, so it gives us those nice lines. You see those lines? And then we're gonna hit the rest of it just going down. to run out of silver mid-stroke. Make sure the lid is closed before you try this home. Yes, most definitely. See, so now we have that silver backer, but we also have those like splits in that area. little splits are just enough that when we lay the backer uh, you'll see the difference there same thing on this side I want to line up that web there we 
go. Last but not least, we can remove the rest of the of the tape here. These bodies have external headlight and tail lights. Um, there is sockets for lights here. I'm not sure how they work. I haven't actually seen one of these actually put back together, so I don't know. we're not going to use the lemon yellow. I am instead going to opt for the tequila yellow. Sounds like a background song in a video game, yeah? Tony Hawk's Pro Skater, the soundtrack. Yeah, I'm going to I'm going to use this tequila yellow instead. What's wrong with you? Oh, there's another bug? Oh man. Can you just watch that TV for now? Oh, I don't know then. Can you just play with your toys? I'm almost done, okay? You gotta wait a minute. I'm trying to see if she'll just get over the bug and go back in. So shaking this up real good. And all I'm going to do is give a fade. So from the bottom of this uh, area here going up, I'm going to give it a little tequila yellow going up. And then we're going to lay some more pearl and some more backer. And then come back and finish that. And I think we'll be close to done.
Just put in a Bugs Life DVD and strap her in a chair. <laughs> You can charge your tablet. Oh, well, then I don't know. You gotta not be scared of the bug. silver pearl and then we can lay some white backer Seven to nine is still green with bugging. Like, yeah, I guess. But she's like freaking out over flies. So I don't know. I don't know if your girls freak out over flies and stuff still. I don't know why. All of a sudden, she just picked up this habit of like bugs, and ah. And she used to be just okay. Like, didn't even care. So I don't know where she got it from or where she picked it up. But. Now we need her to stop, but she won't stop with the bug thing.
that's all she wrote for the body. Alright, let's see. That's pretty cool. You guys, you guys can't really see the green on camera, but that little bit of green just kind of sets it off. And yeah, the, the camera does a poor job of also showing the pearl effect. But that's a nice looking clean body right there. And once he adds his decals and his lights and all the little scale accessories and stuff, that's going to look pretty cool. Mm -hmm. You can kind of see the shimmer on the pink there because it's the darkest of the colors, but it doesn't really show on camera too well. Not like in person. In person, it's like really glittery and really sparkly and pretty. Camera doesn't do it justice, but we'll move on from that. So to that to the side. We'll start cutting some stuff in here. I think because that pink is the darkest color, we'll start by making some cuts to uh, pink. that now let's let's actually stick to it might as well get this done today that way I don't have to do it tomorrow so let's do the interior while we're at it that way I could just enjoy the rest of my night and maybe even have a s slow easy morning you know taking it easy taking it easy you know yeah right Y'all know I still have that Chrysler 300 to finish, right? <laughs> Actually, I plan to start disassembling it tomorrow. So I obviously already have the hood off, but I need to take the front fenders off and the doors and the front clip, the front bumper off. So that I can get it ready to install the Lambo door kit that arrived that we have sitting there. I've gone over the instructions on that Lambo door kit a few times. So hopefully, hopefully, I can get it all installed with no issues. Need to fumigate your house, man. Why? Why would I fumigate for a couple of flies? That's so ridiculous. <laughs> that doesn't even sound like a good idea. She is four years old, my guy. She's freaking out over little tiny bugs. Like literally like a fly. She's seen a fly and it flew around her and she's freaking out. <laughs> and I think first, you know, we wanted to help her and, and get all the flies out. But I think making it, it just makes it worse. Cause you're like giving into her fear and she feels like, oh yeah, it must be scary if they're like, you know, if they're acting scared. I don't know. So now I'm kind of like, well, you know, she's going to have to figure it out. Get some of that there. Go ahead and take some of this, uh, I need a third airbrush here. Let's 
Tormax. Sunset Magenta. Yeah, flies, gnats, everything is a big scary spider. Yeah, it, I, that would be one thing. If she came and said, hey, there's a spider, I'd be like, all right, I'm right there with you. Let's kill that motherfucker. You know, let, let's get him. But it's like a fly. It's like, man, come on. Like, what you want me to do about the fly? I'm going to come kill the fly. Then there's going to be another fly. And the fly's going to keep coming. Yeah, that's what I've been doing. I've been smashing the bugs in front of her. I've been trying to teach her, like, yo, look at how big the bug is. Like, look at how little and look at how big you are. She's not having any of it, my guy. So. She doesn't trust. He doesn't want to kill spiders. He wants to make them pets. Oh, hell no. <laughs> yeah, and Jester knows all about that raid. Must have had some kind of infestation in this house at some point.
You don't mind snakes. You don't mind. You know, I'm not a fan either, either, bro. If I see if a snake, it's gonna get smashed. If I see a spider, it's gonna get smashed. Bro, I've almost been bitten by rattlesnakes. And, and yeah. I'm glad rattlesnakes rattle, my guy, because otherwise I would have been dead long ago. Interesting fact. Did you know that you can shoot a bullet towards a rattlesnake's head? And even if you didn't mean to headshot it, it will more than likely end up being a headshot because the snake will try to bite the bullet and can actually react to the speed of the bullet. We learned this uh, by shooting snakes with a 22 rifle when we lived out in El Paso, Texas. And we would, not constantly, but at least twice a year, there'd be a rattlesnake around the house we'd have to kill. And yeah, the 22 rifle, and the bullet jumps, the bullet, really the snake jumps right in front of the bullet. Interesting. Yeah, it will it will literally headshot itself. So So if you ever run into a rattlesnake, just pick up the biggest heaviest rocks you can find, launch it at the rattlesnake and it will literally get in the way of the rock and try to bite the rock and kill itself. And I know that from experience because I used to freaking walk around, you know, the mountains and the hills on the desert where we used to live. And I'd run into rattlesnakes and obviously after a while I stopped killing them and I stopped going, started just start going around them. But my dad really liked the snake skins and stuff so I would kill them and bring them back to my dad. And then he'd peel them and, you know, he'd lay the, the, the snake skins over his rifles and stuff in the house. So. They can chase you, no sound. Oh, fuck that. See, rattlesnakes don't chase. They'll usually just sit and coil up and then they'll, they'll their little fucking rattle will go nuts, right? And luckily they do that before they strike you most of the time. Um, and uh, yeah, I've been like, I've literally been at the point where the snake lunged at my leg and I jumped out of the way just in time for it to miss. Like close as fuck like to getting bit but luckily I like I was in, in sports and stuff so I was pretty limber as a child and yeah I jumped pretty fucking high as soon as I heard that and that snake was already lunging at me so yeah I don't I don't do snakes very well because from my experience snakes is is dangerous creatures Yeah, I think she'll grow out of it too. It's just the phase. It's, like I said, it came out of nowhere. I think she honestly like watched a video or something about kids, you know, or big bugs that can hurt you or something like that. And now she's afraid of all bugs. So. Okay, so I could take some grabber orange. Tarantulas too. This is the reason I hate tarantulas is because that same area where we used to live where there was the rattlesnakes, right? They're, they have like a monsoon season. Like there's a, a type of, the type, once a turn, like a certain time of year, it rains, right? And when it rains, it like downpours so much that the ground can absorb all the water. So it creates all this like run runoffs and stuff, right? But um, it also creates all the bugs that hide in the ground to come out. And yeah, tarantulas is one of those things where we'd go biking in the water, right? And then all of a sudden you'd stop 
look towards you know the ground and stuff and you realize that there's like 15 tarantulas like kind of just like circling you yeah that is also no fun I'm not a fan of tarantulas Big hissing tarantulas <laughs> fucking raise their little front, their little front paws, you know, their little hands. I don't know what you call them. They look like claws. I don't know what they are, man, but they're little tiny and they're fucking scary. And they go move fast. Their little legs move so fast and it, they're scary. <laughs> I ain't dealing with no tarantulas. <laughs> Give her a fly solder. Yeah, I tried to show her how the fly solder works. She's so scared, she'll run out of the room that she's in and won't want to go back in. So the fly solder does her no good in this room. What's funny is that there's probably a fly flying around her right now in that room, you know. She just hasn't noticed it and she's just chilling. Legs and pinters, huh? Let's give this a second to dry. So we got all those colors in there. It's starting to look like a lowrider, son. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, before I forget, we should lay orange on this too, so this matches. The body and uh, the interior. <laughs> what the towel snap you? What are you talking about? <laughs> uh, oh, a towel whipping flies out of the sky? I was like, where the hell do you live, man? There's flying spiders? Fuck that, I'm never going there. <laughs> I was about to be like, fuck that, rattlesnakes. You had it really rough if there was flying spiders. I don't care what anybody says. Reptiles and whip each other. That sounds kinky, bro. <laughs> and dry.
Get that last. Look at how cool that looks already. All those little details. See, then you got the dash. Oh boy, look at that sickness. It's definitely not a mud truck, bro. Don't take this truck in the mud. <laughs> this is like one of those trucks that you see like in Trucker Magazine that's like super lifted and it has like those those crazy like 26 inch rims with those little tiny tires but for some reason has like a 20 inch lift with like airbags and stuff that's this truck <laughs> all right so last but not least i'm just going to take some tequila yellow and cover those last bits What the hell? <laughs> this chat has gone off the rails. It kind of has like a 70s flavor, but it also has like a lowrider flavor, but also like a, an extreme show truck. Let me put that in there. Mm -hmm, that looks real good. Stop. Stop touching it. right there I'm gonna take this and lay some uh, backer on it some more backer right to make sure it's nice and backed up probably back black backer and then we'll lay some clear coat on it but first I'm gonna let these dry um, 
obviously you guys get to see that cool little design the dash is right there and we got the truck over here and this goes in there bam and that this thing is clear right here so yeah if you want to see the finished product the whole finished thing make sure you uh, follow us on social media follow me on social media uh, Instagram Facebook obviously you already here on YouTube um, but yeah hopefully you guys like today's stream uh, I'm gonna go ahead and take a break now that I'm all done and yeah hopefully y'all have a good night enjoy the rest of your night thank you guys all for watching and we'll see you later oh man tired 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 <laughs>